Hey y'all, it's your girl Q, and today we are making some Mexican stuffed sweet bell peppers. Let's get into it. We're gonna take these beautifully bright colored peppers and we're gonna take the top off of them, okay? Then we're gonna go ahead and get those seeds out of there, get the ribbing out, and you wanna make sure that you completely clean out all of the ribbing and the seeds because then it makes more room for the filling that we're about to fill this up with. Delicious, just mwah, yummy, all right? All right, and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you can subscribe to your girl and hit that notification bell because the Fresh Squad got it going on. I love stuffed peppers. I love stuffed peppers. I do dishes like this all the time. Um, I had made another one where I did it with shrimp and coconut, mango. It was so good, y'all. Um, and then I did another one um, that was, I, I believe I stuffed it with like the cabbage. I made a cabbage roll that was like a stuffed pepper cabbage roll is bomb as hell y'all um so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this onion and i keep the knobby thing that little root on the end of the oven because it makes it easier for me to cut it and to hold on to it especially when i have my nails done you know what i'm saying my nails don't impair my cooking or anything like that but i just found a way a system of doing things that make things easier for me you feel me all right so now we're gonna take this lime and we're gonna squeeze that lime juice into the food processor we're gonna take um a hollow and we're gonna keep all the seeds all the ribs of this because we want it spicy it's gonna be delicious a bunch of uh, so some cilantro excuse me we're gonna put in some cilantro and we're gonna do some green onion scallion when she feeling bougie you feel me we're gonna also add in some olive oil some extra virgin olive oil which i love we're gonna put some of that in there and that's gonna help to break down the fibers of the uh, veggies and it's gonna add to the flavor of it so we're gonna go ahead and break that down and we also added some white wine vinegar we're gonna add in some white wine vinegar because that white wine vinegar adds a nice tang to this you know what i'm saying a lot of the times when we're making in like pico de gallo or you know different things like that you throw in a little bit of that uh vinegar and white wine vinegar has a really nice clean crisp tangy flavor it's delicious so now we got everything pulverized down to the consistency that we want we're going to take some grapeseed oil and we're going to heat it up and now that it's popping we're going to get to cooking so now let's go ahead and throw in that mixture of aromatics and we're gonna go ahead and cook some of that rawness out of the onion and the pepper the jalapeno and all that get everything nice and acquainted all right now we're gonna add in some fresh ground um turkey meat and i love turkey meat because it's so versatile y'all y'all should smell this this is how we do it do it yeah it smells so good oh my gosh and now we're going to go ahead and add in some minced garlic. And because we love garlic around these parts, garlic is so good for you. And we're going to also throw in a little water because I like to use everything. I don't waste nothing. Now we're going to add in some seasoning salt, some black ground pepper, some fresh black ground pepper. And y'all know how I feel about fresh black ground pepper. So let's get that in there. Give it a good stir. Incorporate those flavors and seasonings. But we ain't done. Hey, paprika, what up, girl? And then we're going to go ahead and stir in some onion powder. And onion powder, like we said before, nice, lovely, round flavors. And that's just to fortify the fresh onion. We're going to throw in some cumin. And I love cumin. It's such a good flavor. It's kind of hard to explain. It's chili powders next. We're going to throw in some chili powder. And the basis of taco seasonings are going to have cumin and chili powder in them. You know what I'm saying? Very delicious, warm flavors. And next we're gonna throw in that herbaceous component with some Italian seasoning. Italian seasoning is so good cause it has all those different herbs and it elevates dishes, period. So now we're gonna go ahead and allow that to simmer together. And we're gonna throw in our wet ingredients. And our first wet ingredient is a chili starter. I like using chili starters because it has the diced tomatoes. It also has some seasoning to it. You know what I'm saying? It has some chilies, it's really yummy. And now we're gonna also add in a can of tomato sauce. And what that tomato sauce is going to do is that's going to also add some body to this to this chili sauce. Because right now what we're making is, is we're making a filling to go inside of the peppers. Now we're going to throw in some organic salsa. Y'all, this salsa tastes so damn good. It's organic. And I mean, you can just run through the chips with this. You know what I'm saying? It's delicious. We're going to give that a good stir. Let those flavors just come together and start to get lovely. And next we're going to add in some black beans and with the black beans i like to take them rinse them and you know what i'm saying 
cook them after that and these were not goya beans just to make sure that that's put out there directly now we're going to go ahead and to add some balance we're going to add in some blue agave nectar blue agave nectar is sweet and is delicious but that is not what we're using it for as i always say is to add balance to balance out those sharp flavors so we're going to go ahead and do that Okay, and right now you're gonna want to take out some of that sauce and leave it because we're gonna add in some golden rice. You're gonna put that ch that other chili sauce to the side. We're gonna use that a little later. But this golden rice is so fire, y'all. And I put the recipe to the golden rice in my new book that's coming out. It's called Take Out at the Crib and it'll be coming to you guys soon so you'll know how to make this rice. I use this rice in a lot of different dishes. It's amazing. Okay, now let's build up these peppers, okay? At the bottom, we put in some of that chili that didn't have the rice then we put a layer of the chili with the rice and then we're going to add in another layer of cheese we're going to add in a layer of cheese kobe jack i like it like that uh, we're going to also add in another layer of the chili because we want you don't want no dry ass pepper you don't want your pepper to just have rice and it just be dry you want it cheesy you want it saucy you want it yummy you want it good you want it delicious you know what i'm saying so now we've finished topping it off with some cheese and we put the tops back on we're going to go ahead and take the remaining mixture of the rice and surround these peppers in a loving community of chili and rice and flavor and bean do you feel me now we're going to take the end part the rest of that chili i added a little salsa to that chili mix and we're just going to top it with that again we don't like nothing dry we're not trying to have it you know what i'm saying these ain't choke peppers this ain't choke rice you feel me we gotta you gotta have a nice little sauce to this shit so, <laughs> for real though so now we're gonna top it off with some more of that kobe jack cheese and when this bakes up y'all it's gonna bake up so yummy and crispy around the edges and cheesy and good and packed full of flavor period so all right now we're gonna go ahead and pop that in the oven and voila baby i know if you know you know you know look at this it's amazing like i have gotten myself completely hungry all over again while i'm editing this and it's like just looking at it just the flavors the deliciousness she is gorgeous okay these peppers are stepping out okay they are doing what they do and they're doing it well look at how all that sauciness with that rice and it's not overcooked it's deliciously prepared and now i'm gonna show y'all what's gonna accompany this beautiful beautiful peppers we got some sweet honey butter lime cornbread drip drip we just gonna let it do what it's doing you hear me i mean it was delicious amazingly delicious i'm hungry let's plate it up let's go all right so now this is the plate up i got one of the peppers and then i also added some tortilla chips for a contrast of texture you know what i'm saying tortilla chips hit so i just wanted to go ahead and crunch up a few of them put them on top of that rice with that cheese the beans and you know it's the same feeling um that's inside the peppers but i also had a little on the side with that beautiful uh cornbread that honey butter cornbread with the lime juice spray just drizzled on top so lovingly you know what i'm saying very delicious now we're gonna cut into it i love to cook the peppers until they're al dente i don't like to cook them all the way to where they're just mush i like for my sweet peppers to have some kick and some bite okay when you bite down into it you want to have a nice little crunch to it still you want it to be cooked of course to where you know what i'm saying but you want to have a nice little snap to that pepper look at that saucy cheesy goodness that cheese pool i mean the flavors some of that rice and those chips and what like i said it has a nice crispy change of texture so let's get a good close look up to it let's get a nice look at it yes baby that is 
fire. Like I'm literally hungry all over again. It's kind of like using the pepper as like a, a little boat, a little happy love boat of deliciousness and flavor, Chad. I feel like I want to do a little salsa meringue. I want to toss my hair a little bit. You hear me? Toss my braids from side to side one time for the one time. You feel me? Look at that. Just, oh, amazingly delicious. Now, this meal is great right now. Uh, it's great in the winter time. It's great anytime. And I love how saucy and good it is. That is not a dry pepper. That's not dry. You got a lot of goodness flavor going in there. Now, grab some of that cornbread. Y'all, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's so delicious. That sweet cream butter, that honey, that lime juice, it really makes a difference. So that's how you can take something that's simple that you're used to and make it extraordinary. You understand what I'm saying? Deliciousness. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, fire. Get a good look at that up close. Amazing. Simply amazing. Oh my goodness. All right, y'all. Thanks for coming through and vibing with your girl Q. I really appreciate y'all coming through and doing these recipes with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel so that you guys can get more content. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the freshness coming from this Fresh Squad. And today's super fresh Fresh Squad members is Sharita Davis. This sister has always been so super supportive. Much love to you. I really appreciate you and everything that you've done as far as encouraging me and everything. Thanks, sis. And Sebastian Mello. Thank you, boo. Got one word for you. Boom! <laughs> much love to you. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Yes, yes, y'all. Another wonderful video. I thank you guys. I want you guys to stay blessed and to stay safe. Stay blessed and stay safe until the next time. Make sure you guys wear your mask. Keep that mask up. Keep washing them hands. Keep your hands out of your faces because we collectively want to take care of each other. Look out for each other. I am so excited about everything that we're going to be doing on this channel. Much love from your girl Q. Until next time. Until next time. And there will be a next time. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>